All right, here we go. Question 28 from our Calculus 1 homework number one in WebAssign. It says a graphing calculator is recommended, not required, and unlike number 27, this time I am going to demonstrate using the graphing calculator to answer this question. It says for the limit as x approaches zero of e to the two x minus one all over x equals two. Illustrate this definition. Now what they mean by definition is that this equation is true by finding the largest possible values of delta that correspond to epsilon equal 0.6 and 0.2. And then it says round your answers to three decimal places. So here's what we're going to do with our graphing calculator. We're going to graph this function. Look at what happens as x approaches zero. We should see that it reaches a height of two. But then we're going to find the values of delta that allow us to stay within 0.6 units of two and then within 0.2 units of two. All right, so I've already got my Desmos graph sketched. I've got my function input. And then what I've done is I've organized this neatly into folders. So here's what I did. Epsilon equal 0.6. What that would indicate is Y values that are 0.6 units away from the limit which is two. Let me zoom in on this here, and you can see that as x approaches zero, y approaches two from the left and the right. And if we let epsilon be 0.6, then that means that we can be 0.6 units away from two, above and below two. And that gives us these y values, okay? So if I turn those on, and click on Desmos where they intersect the graph, what that tells me is the X values that I would have to stay between to guarantee that I'm within 0.6 units of two. And remember the delta is the smallest distance away from zero of either one of these values. Okay, so looking at the two X's, we have point 252 and negative 0.381. If we take the absolute value of this negative x here, that would give us the distance left of zero. And then the 0.25 here is the distance right of zero. And then really all you have to do is pick which one is smaller, which is the 0.252. So let's go back to WebAssign. We're going to put on our 0.252. I don't have to actually do both answers at one time. I'm going to submit and see if that answer is correct before I move on and illustrate the other part of the problem. And we can see there that what I did is correct. So let's go back to Desmos. We're going to turn that folder off. And now we're going to look at being 0.2 away from our limit. Again, those Y values would be 0.2 units above and below two, corresponding to Y equals 2.2 and 1.8. And again, if I turn those on, and if you need to, we can actually zoom in there to see a little bit better. Clicking on where those horizontal lines intersect the graph, we get our two X's. And remember, you want to take the absolute value of your negative x. And the reason this works so easy is because our target is zero. So if, if our uh, limit was x approaches one or any other number, you would have to actually subtract these values from one to get the distance away from one. So which is smaller, 0.094? or 0 0.107, I believe it's 0 0.94. That should be our delta value. When epsilon is 0 0.2, we're gonna submit and see if that's right. And that's gonna do it for this problem. So if you have any questions or comments about anything covered in this video, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.